welcome to my channel in this video i'll continue to solve mathematical questions which they asked in reading from table of time in 2022 so if you find this video helpful please subscribe in question 58 ram borrows rupees 520 from govin at a simple interest of 13 percent per annum what amount of money should Ram pay to the Govin after six months to pay off the debt? The given rate of interest is 13% per annum. And the principal is it is given 5 rupees 520. And the time is six months. Six months mean half year. So if you use the formula simple interest is equal to principal P into R is rate into time by 100. So P is 520 that is principal and the rate is 13 and time is 6 months which is half year 1 by 2 so if we cancel 1 0 and 1 0 and then 2 1 star 2 and 2 plus 4 2 6 star 12 and then again 2 1 star 2 to 3 star which is 2 3 star 6 that means 2 13 is 26 and 2 5 star 10 so 13 into 13 it will become 169 and 5 as it is it will remain in the denominator so 169 divided by 5 will get 33.8 so the interest is 33.8 okay this is the interest for half year for 3 to 6 months so the amount you need to pay is principal plus the simple interest principal is 520 which he borrow okay and then the simple interest for half year is 33.8 so the total amount will be 553.8 that is option b option b is the correct answer 553.8 question 59 in a class of 60 students, the ratio of boys to girls is 3 is to 2. How many girls are there in the class? The ratio of boys to girls is 3 is to 2. The total student is 60. So, if you need to find girl, girl is 2, okay? 2, two out, of, out of 5. 2 out of 5, that is 2 by 5 out of 60 students. So, if we cancel 5 ones of 5, and 5 total is 60, then it will become 2 to 2, 2 to 2 is 24. So the number of girls is 24, option D is the correct answer. So in similar way, if you want to find the number of boys in this video, you will find, you will get number of boys 36. Total students is only 60, okay, so boys is 24, and boys is 36, and girls is 24, so it is 60. Question 16. Why travel 15 km? due south then 5 km due west then 18 km due north then 3 km due south then 5 km due east how far is he from starting point so this is north he is south west okay if you move if you move downward it will be south if you move upward it is north if you move this side then east if you move the side then west so at first this is why okay he move 15 meter south after that he move west 5 meter after that he move 18 meter 15 plus this is the number of here is 15 by here is 3 so he move 18 meter no after that he move 3 meter south again he move 5 meter west oh, no 5 meter is again he came back to his starting point okay so how far he is from the starting point he is now at his starting point only so he's zero kilometer only from his starting point because he came back from where he came so option c is the correct answer zero kilometer question 61 what is the square of 40 this is a simple question square of 40 is 20 because 20 square is 400 option c is the correct answer question 62 find 12 percent of 500 12% of 500 means 12 by 100 into 5000 
no no find 12% of 5 5000 12 percent of 5000 mean 12 by 100 into 5000 if you can sell this to zero and this to zero so it will remain 12 into 50 so zero will remain here zero and 12 five are 60 it will become 600 so option b is the correct answer 600 Question 63. If the sum of two numbers is 16 and the product is 63, then what is the larger number? This is very simple if you know time table, okay? Because we know 9 into 7 is equal to 63. So the product of 9 into 7 it will become 63. And the sum also of 9 plus 7 is also 16. So the larger number is 9 and the smaller number is 7. But they ask about the larger number. So option A is the correct answer. 9 is the larger number. If they ask smaller number than 7 is the correct answer.